Over the last 10 years, we've witnessed an incredible evolution in wireless networking. I mean, think about it. We've gone from 802.11b to g, then a to g, and now 802.11n. And don't forget the revolving door of security standards, spectrum management, and you can see where what was a part-time job function can now become a full-time responsibility. Centrally managed intelligence driving increasingly distributed lightweight access points has been the hallmark we've pioneered for the successful wireless experience no matter where our users are located. This design has been key to our collective sanity. Now it maintain four key principles that have emerged as mandatory and timeless during this period. First off, flexibility. The architecture must always adapt to the future that we can never quite predict. High throughput, especially in the face of increasingly complex security policy like ACLs, encryption, on and on and on. Availability. Redundancy, right? You can never be down, even when upgrading hundreds of APs or the WAN links are flapping. And mobility. Seamless roaming, even at layer three. Now, as we look to maintain our leadership position, anticipating your request but politely trying not to finish your sentences, we look at the controllers. And one of my favorite examples, the WISM. WISM 2, actually. And like all top-notch technologies, this is, of course, an acronym that means Wireless Service Module 2. Now, I know what you're saying. Let's, let's keep calling it the WISM because we don't get too many fun acronyms, and that one is fun. Let's throw it up on the buzzword bingo board. The WISM is a blade that slides right into your cat. Calm down, cat is short for catalyst. Now you Cisco vets know this already, of course, but what a way cool acronym to throw out at your next dinner party. In this case, it's the incredibly successful chassis switch, the CAT 6500, the big cat. Now leveraging the 6500's resilient and redundant architecture is certainly a best practice for any engineer, and now with the Wisdom 2, there's even greater functionality. By interacting with two modules you may already have, the network analysis module and the firewall services module, you can bring application inspection and enhanced security to your RF environment. So now I know what you must be thinking. Come on, Rob, pump the brakes, man. We need some details. All right. The Wisdom 2 was designed from the ground up to support mission-critical wireless, born and bred for 802.11n. That's in for nine times the performance of traditional A and G wireless. Indoor and outdoor mesh for those hard-to-wire spots, 10 gigabit interface to the back plane, support for 500 access points and 10,000 clients. And by the way, we can also update all 500 APs at once. No more staggered updates. But what if you don't have a 6500 BitCat chassis? Well, buy one. No. We also have the multi-core 5500 appliance, which has all the horsepower and features for your network, but an appliance package. Hey, you want to see them in action? You'll notice that we've collapsed all of the wireless service blocks back to the core. Now let's add another 5508 for redundancy. The robust controller architecture allows much larger subnets of wireless users in the core. This means no more wireless VLAN overload and some kind of desperate attempt to gain control. No trunking. One wireless VLAN, or if you like, maybe a couple to break out your traffic types, voice, guests, data. What a nice, clean design. This is how you offer wireless services everywhere on a campus design, yet limit your layer three mobility because most, if not all of your roaming would be layer two handoffs, not layer three roams. Don't waste time hitting the DHCP again for reauthentication or any of those things, just waste time. All of your traffic will be tunneled back to the wireless LAN controllers sitting in the core, no matter where they originated. Now, even if one of these wireless controllers fails, the AP is going to find its home very quickly on another controller back in the core, seamless. Now, this stuff doesn't happen by magic. The key is control and provisioning of wireless access points, and yes, that is another acronym, CAPWAP, and it's the protocol behind the scenes. CAPWAP is an IETF standard and basically creates a tunnel between the access point and the controller. Now, what makes CAPWAP unique is it uses DTLS to encrypt the control plane. In fact, you can even encrypt the data plane. This means we can have two encrypted sessions between the controller and the AP. CapWap also handles fragmentation and reassembly, and my personal favorite, it has a robust path MTU discovery that can even dynamically detect when the MTU window changes size. I can hear you VSAP folks cheering from here. Now, how about those branch offices? Three products here focus squarely on the branch. The Flex 7500 controller, the 2500 controller, and the WLCM2 for the SRE on the ISRG2. <laughs> My apologies, that was a mouthful. We're still waiting for the Rosetta Stone Cisco edition featuring the unified immersion method. Refer to your screen for details. Okay, let's see how this Flex 7500 is rocking it at the branch. First off, this is for a lean branch. Deployments, it means no local on-site controller or IT staff. The official term is Flex Connect. And yes, we can add that to our buzzword bingo boards. Anyone win anything yet? Not yet, all right. The config looks simple, right? The branch is connected via the WAN back to the corp side. Corpside contains the Flex 7500 controller on authentication server and a WCS management console. In the remote branch site, there are three Flex Connect enabled access points that maintain a secure connection back to the central site. 
Now here's where the fun begins. Your traffic can be either centrally switched where all traffic is tunneled back to the 7500 controller via CapWap, or it can be locally switched. So instead of packing the tunnel and fearing rush hour on the WAN, you have the option of keeping stuff land side and only using that CapWap tunnel for centralized client authentication. Now that is a lean scalable branch. When you think about it, it's also a survivable branch. The WAN link is not your weak link in the chain, so should it go down, your users are working, not complaining. Don't forget your road warriors and the home office staff. They are covered with Office Extend. Instead of confusing them with multiple software products or endless acronyms, just give them an access point, have them plug it in, and the controller takes care of the rest, encrypting the traffic end-to-end -end automagically without the need for a traditional VPN. You can still have your cake and eat it too, of course. Centralized software updates, control, management, troubleshooting, right from the comfort of your data center easy chair. Did you see it? It was all there. Flexibility, throughput, availability, mobility. That is how wireless is done these days. Hey, you ready for more? Check out cisco.com slash go slash wireless.